I'm the Amber Good People. My name is Yoki Sastam from Majala Mission Studio. And as my series of making hair tutorial in Brenda, so today I'll be showing how to make this hairstyle. This is the hairstyle I came across it on Instagram on this account, Brothers. So I want to recreate this in Blender. So how are we going to tackle it in Blender? We have our character and we have our scalp here. We can have two options. The first one is to define, to define this first layer and the, the low fade from this point downward so in here I'll be using goose pencil divide at here so this will be a longer hair like this and from this point this will be a faded one. We can either make them by creating two layer of particle system or we can just use one particle system. So you come here and add our hair particle. I don't know how I can call it but let me set it Third. it's time mm -hmm. fit it here with style then come to here then reduce it silence up to this point on your material as you can see here i have two material material and the Neural shine. So in here, I use neural shine, and uh, on our render, we don't need to render our emitter. So disable it. Then enable B spine. Put here nine. Then if you on viewport, you can use show emitter for future when you are going to on your painting and painting a texture. And then here put seven. Then down here to children interpreted. After that, I'm not going into style how to create different hairstyle, but let's say just a little bit on cramp. Here cramping, I'll just add a little bit cramping there. Then the second step, the second step, we can increase here children. You see? So this is the first step. You can be done here. But uh, the second step is to come to this, to sterilize the hair. <laughs> so, First of all, come to particle edit, and in my particle edit, then I'll go to wireframe and just select the this top one and control I. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, top one, then control L to select the then control i to set the, the downward and i wanna enable here mirror x-ray just to comb them down a little bit so after that you see the difference 
So while still in your part credit, what we can do is come here to invade the selection. I need to make this thing. So uh, able to then I'll increase the length. No, this is grow. Shift F to include the mm -hmm. then why I do increase the length and then conclude combing then what I'll do is This is a simple way of doing it. Just a simple way of doing it. Then I'll come to my texture paint. In the texture paint, I don't need this. You come here on your tool here, just disable this. You add, just to choose single texture, not material, just single texture, single image, then come add. You can name it, let's say, fade, and you leave it as either black or white. So for a moment, let me choose white okay then we come down here to our particle properties on our particle pro properties where we added our particles or our hair then you come to the down part where it is named as texture slot textures then here on textures you will create another texture that is let's say we call it fade haircut with style So after adding our texture mask on our particle properties, then you switch to this button, it will take you to texture tab, and here in your texture tab, there's one thing that you need to understand is that the mapping the mapping of our scalp hair scalp must be UV unlapped so as you see here this is our UV this is our hair scalp and uh, if you go here I try to show
this is then if we I don't know VIT maybe oh view then UV editor so you can see this is our UV map so the main issue of controlling the hair with the mask we are going to be affecting this UV mask so the issue of masking the issue of painting it will be painted over this UV map then I can go back to my image editor then come out of edit mode to object mode so this is our UV map then on our texture tab here yeah, I don't know, we don't need this is one. So uh, in our texture tab here in our fade haircut with style, it already choose image or move. You have different effect. Maybe we can use a wood. You see the kind of effect it gives. then the main issue you come to here and then you enable it you see how the air is being cut down and then maybe in here in your mapping texture in, in our mapping you choose uv global object or uv but uh, currently we are using this our UV map so we choose we, we go with UV and they may be here if you don't want to use that image texture I showed you previous and uh, you can choose different like let's say you can choose it is on out then you can choose let's say cell noise Mm, blender original this pattern let's say it was bend 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 noise you see the difference the style that different style it give us then maybe we can choose link noise You see how they are being cut different so this is how you can affect your hair lens using the texture as a mask so I'll leave out of this texture type from wood and I'll go to just select to image or movie then on my image or movie and here I'll select this texture that this fade texture and here then I'll search for fade here it is you enable it because it's white then all hair will be shown but if it was black all hair will be hidden black is for conceal white is for reveal so from there you can opt to choose either draw smear draw uh, between draw and uh, fill so currently we are going to use fill after you choose fill you come to brush setting setting you have color and the gradient what we want to do is we want to use gradient to affect this uh, I'll add that was browsing. So we want the gradient of hair moving from long one 
to zero cutted down here so what we are going to do is we come to gradient from color to gradient then our gradient it's like here maybe let's say this is black and we use our gradient like this okay, like this then we save our texture you see how it starts affecting the hair if you want to see clear you can come to your article properties and they disable on our viewport display disable show emitter but when we disable show emitter we'll see clear how the hair are being seen but uh, we lose our uv map see, see the, the difference when i enable show emitter here we see our uv map but when i disable it we can see our uv map so to continue let's say we can make it as more smooth and apply it here you see the difference so what we're going to do is to create to mimic this effect this is this is white this is one percent white this is let's say it is 50 percent white then it can start to fade to fade up to zero total black so this is white on our gradient here this will be white let me increase it this will be white and here it will be total black but i don't want a total black to be here black just a little bit to add it to have those type of hair like down here you can't see but they are there so in between here I'll add this line to add this, the line you need to first add one point here and this point is total black then add another point that is total black to hold this one you see and then add another point that is total black then add another point that is total black to hold the point last one add the the white area this area but this area starting from here is not 100% is not 100% full so white so will decrease its range let's say to here this to black maybe increase it a little bit to white then smooth it a little bit i'll see the difference so when uh, I feel from here because I want my line to start from here as you can see the reference I want my line to start from here or I can drop it up to here and uh, 
You see, this is what we get. And uh, maybe I'll put this up. Then I'll drop up to here. I don't know why it, it's not uh, ref refreshing itself. It need to. It must be auto refresh itself. You see the difference? How it start fade. But here, you know, it's okay. You see how the fall off is? So even in here, you see, I see a lot of hair here, and here is white, so I can, here it is, can put two here. And then do a fall off again and a refresh here. You see the difference? But here, I don't want it to be smooth like this. So, what I will do, I will increase this white, I'll add. Maybe I'll push it here. And I'll do like this. And I'll save it. You see how the four of change? And maybe you see this white is too small, you can increase it and decrease it. Then we can put it as this. So the saving in the. Uh, so this is how we do. You create this the effect in Brenda. So you know you see you can reload it again. And uh, even I can reduce it up to here. And then save it. It will auto load. Then save it. Maybe increase it a little bit. Maybe I can reduce the white.
I think got the point. So this is how you do it. And maybe if you want to stylize it more, you can come to your draw brush. You can reduce it. And here I can, where, where, where? Here on my fall. Where it is? Here instead of smooth, I can put this as constant stroke. I will use line, then I'll do my line here. And if I save, you see. if you can you see when you are close I see the line but when you are I don't see it. So this is how you can create the faded haircut style in Brenda. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe, like, share, and uh, turn on notification bell for future tutorial. Ciao. See you.